Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the Pulling on Heaven podcast with Pastor Gary Zamora. And I just want us to uh, launch right into, we were having a really cool conversation right before we started. And usually we kind of dance around a little bit before we go into things. And I thought, let's just give the people what they're paying for. Yeah, it's not right. No, I think this is just a free podcast. But but you can donate. But uh, no. Uh, yeah, we normally just we have to stop. One of us has to say, right, let's shoot. Let's shoot. This. Yeah, we yeah. have to, because yeah. otherwise, I mean, again, I keep saying we should be filming the stuff when we're not filming because it's way more entertaining than what you guys have to sit through. <laughs> and I'm sorry for that. But, but anyways, let's just dive into what we were talking about earlier, because I think it's a fascinating subject. You touched on it during the uh, service, at least, uh, I think it was two Sundays ago now. Um, as we're recording this, but it was so fascinating and I love it because it gives so much context when you talk about, um, about deep roots Mm. and, and you, and particularly as it related to wine and about old wine, which is really interesting. And I, what was struck me is so interesting, you know, Jesus will talk about, uh, we need new wine skins for the new wine, right? But new wine doesn't necessarily have to connotate that it's like, Young wine, right? Meaning, new wine is what we're bringing out for you. Yeah. And so, Jesus would only give us the very best kind of wine, anyways, and that tends to be old wine, right? He talks a lot about grapevine. He talks about, and it was, it was a culture uh, certainly back then uh, to to cultivate grapes, and it quickly turned into wine. And if you put new grapes, grapes off the vine, into an old wine skin, when the wine or the the grape juice, which it just automatically does uh, by its own nature, uh, begins to ferment, it expands, and if the skin was old and dry, it bottle mm-hmm. broke. You know, it's just kind of like filling up a balloon until it explodes. Uh, yeah. And an old balloon, or like oh, an old rubber band, if you've ever had an old rubber band, you've had it hung, hanging around for a long time in the garage or something, you go to expand it and it'll snap yeah. because yep. it's, just, it's old, it's dried out, and it breaks. Same thing with a wine skin. And Jesus said, you need to have, you need to be a new wineskin. So when I pour the wine of the Spirit into you and it begins to transform you, it begins to do what it does. It turns into something on the inside of you that's new and alive and revelatory, and it begins to reveal the nature of Christ. If you are not a, what, what would new be? I'm ready for your, we keep, we stay, keep, we keep hammering this, not my will, your will, your yeah. will, God, your will, your will, your will be done and mean it, mean it when you pray it then God's calling us to that. Be a new skin. Don't be set in your ways. Be prepared for what I'm about to do in your life and let me expand you beyond you, you yeah. know, beyond the oldness of your ways. And um, something incredible uh, about, you know, I, I, I've studied, I've listened to, I've talked with people about grapevines. Jesus talked about grapevines a lot in the Word, and I am the vine, you are the branches, and something I uh, recently understood was that old vines, and that's what we, we want to be. We want to be older vines, mm-hmm. uh, and, and that means mature. The Word says, uh, leaving the principal doctrines of repentance. Let's go on to maturity. You know, let us, let's become strong in the Lord. Let's understand what we've been talking about, what we've been hearing, uh, you know, all the sermons and all the messages and all the scriptures. Let's lay hold on them. In other words, let's really get the meaning of them. God, what does this mean? And in order to do that, you have to do what Jesus said. If you're going to follow me, you're going to have to lay yourself down and really come my way. And Steve, it's the only way we're really satisfied and happy. It's who we are. It's not difficult to do that. We we think of in terms of it being difficult because we we doubt. We and sometimes people aren't really doubting God in the way they think. They're doubting themselves. Wow. They're doubting that they're really the person that God could speak to. They won't leave. They won't put the new wine skin on. You know, they won't become the. They won't become the new wine skin. Still the old. You know, I'm born again, but I still feel like you know I don't know if I, if I make the mark. You know, I remember when I or when I did or when I didn't or you know I just don't feel like I you know can God really, and people can have a, be misinformed. Let's say as to what they're doubting, and it is definitely always comes down to to doubting God, but sometimes that stems from doubting who we are. And old vines do something very interesting. Old vines, I've been around a second, and it doesn't mean you have to be old, but Mm -hmm. old vines, the nature of old vines is that they've become wise. 
through the experience of weather uh, and time, and uh, they produce grapes and uh, grape juice, or as the word talks about it, uh, wine, new wine, old wine. And the thing about grapevines is they learn to accommodate the environment they're in Mm -hmm. with a vigor. You know, they learn to use the temperature or the dryness to make themselves stronger. And what they do, instead of just sucking up all the water that's on top, they start going down deep for those days of drought. Yeah. When it doesn't look in your life or my life or anyone's life, it doesn't look like things are happening. And instead of getting, you know, it doesn't look like things are taking place as quickly as I need them to. And new grapes, new grape vines, they just grab the water on front. They just want to produce as many grapes as they can. And whether you're making grape juice or wine or whatever it is uh, that they were doing back in the day, uh, the the berries were always better if they were more mature. The older wines produced more berries because they were seasoned. They were more mature. Their roots went down deeper. Uh, They had more character from the depth of the soil instead yeah. of just the surface soil or just a, a few inches down. Uh, they, they go down, they go f- deep. You know, they go 20, I'm told, 20, 30-plus feet deep in the ground. There's a lot of character in the soil. I like of- that I like that phrase you keep using of character because I think a lot of times we think of the situations that we're in or the places that we're at where we may not want to be here. We don't want to be in the midst of this situation, everything like that. But it's literally those things that we're planted in that are creating the character for us. And those things, when you talk about wines and you talk about wine regions and you talk about Napa or Sonoma or Paso Robles here in California or different regions in France, or I just came back from Italy and the different places. I didn't even know what the different wines were in Italy because they, they just call it by the regions, not by the grapes, right? Because the regions become so characteristic in of the shaping grape. what the grape becomes. Yeah, same in our lives. And we want to get out of so many times those characteristics as God's trying to feed into us. Yeah, you can you can become an old vine, which means you can produce really good fruit, mm. and that's what the scripture is referring to. Uh, Jesus said at one point, He said, "You know how my Father is glorified that you bear fruit and your fruit remains." Old vines produce the best grapes, the most flavorful grapes, the, the, the most tasty grapes. They, they, they have more character, more depth of flavor, like we do, more depth of revelation, more depth of wisdom and understanding. And that helps you in life in, in a lot of different ways. When something takes place in your life, instead of responding, if you will, let's relate it to a young grapevine. Instead of just responding, you know, it looks like it's going to be hot. Let's drink all, all the water right now, make sure we're okay, and let's put out as much fruit as we can and make the berries as big as we can. And and, and it, it they do, but it doesn't have the character of the, the larger, the older, I uh, should say, the older grapevines that produce maybe smaller berries, maybe fewer berries, but the quality is superior to the younger, less depth vines yeah. and that's who you we are and that's why yeah. jesus referenced us as i am the vine and you're the you're the branches and the fruit is coming off of the branches due to the vine christ within us is the hope of glory and in christ we get depth but we it's just that immediate need for immediate satisfaction god i ask you this and do this in my life and god's saying the thing is not as important as how you get the thing yeah. The reason that it appears, the reason that it shows up, you know, getting the uh, grapevine to just sprout up out of the ground isn't so important. What's important is how deep the roots grow, because if it's if they're not deep, not only are you not going to get the character and the flavor uh, and the, the quality of the berries of, of the grapes, but you may not survive if you're just wanting that top uh, uh, soil water, the water from just sets on the top of the ground because it's not always there. But if you know where to find it, seek me and I will be found of you, Jesus said. It relates to a vine, uh-huh. old vines of character, old vines of wisdom. Well, I can see someone young saying, well, what do I have to do? Wait till I'm old. No, we're not talking about age as in years or days. We're talking about the willingness to surrender to the ancient of days yeah. and the, 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 the wise that's vine. Good. And that's Christ within us. And it's simply by saying, God, whatever you bring my way, you're with me in it, and I'm going to go deeper in my relationship with you. And sometimes, Steve, we just, people just, none of us go as deep with God as we 
can and as we should until we're pressed, yeah, until we absolutely. end up having to go to go that distance. And if we realize, God, my steps are ordered of you, and if something seems dry, if the time seems dry right now and hot in my life, you're asking me to go deep. I understand that. It's an easy answer. I'm going to go deep. I'm going to praise you. I'm going to think, seek you. I'm going to thank you. And I'm going to look for what you're doing in my life and not for what I want you to do. I'm going to become an old vine. And you can do that pretty pretty quickly. I have two beautiful daughters that God has blessed my wife and I with. One is uh, 26, recently turned. And uh, my other daughter is 30. It's hard to believe. I mean, so so fast. I feel 30. And uh, But anyway... Uh, and they're both very, very wise. Mine just turned 31. Did you? Oh, man, so you've got me you've got me by one year. How did, you know? Another subject. Uh, stay on track. But the, the, the thing is, is I see so much wisdom in my daughters because of their hunger for Christ. They're hungry for God. So in a sense, they're old vines. Yeah. You can be around some pretty young people and sure. feel like you're around old vines. Old vines shade themselves. They build, they uh, create, grow larger leaves. They have to go through less heat, even though they're in the heat. They protect themselves. They become wise. Same thing. A, a young individual can become an old vine. It's all about surrender and knowing Christ is the center of who I am, and I'm not going to doubt that God's with me no matter what I see. I'm going to thank him for it, and I'm going to listen for what God's telling me. I'm going to look for the depth instead of being upset or afraid or doubting uh, that he's not with me because I don't see just a ton of berries, a ton of grapes. Yeah. They're in me and they're coming from me because of Christ in me. And there are some older individuals that have been around for a long time that act like new vines. You know, yeah. just as, as much as I can get, as quickly as I can get it, as many as I can get, as flashy as it is, and there's no... There's no protection of faith. You know, there's no solidification that I know in whom I have believed. So I see why Jesus spoke about grapevines and the old wine. It's because of the character, and that character comes from depth. It comes from uh, looking deeper within Christ within you, the hope of glory. And that's who we're called to be. We're called to be those that are surrendered to the will of God. So he is glorified in us. And he said, I'm going to give you the Holy Spirit so you can bear witness of who I am and not just what the Holy Spirit can do for you, but rather what he's doing through you. So our relationship, God is saying, becomes one. Wow, that's so good. And that just comes full circle to what we always come back to a lot here is in James where he says, count it all joy when you face the various trials of your faith because what it produces, patience. Yeah. And it, so, and that endurance. So basically he's saying it turns you into the old vine yeah. so you can have the grapes that are pleasing to the Lord. Yeah, good for Man, you. what a good word. What a good word. Thank you so much, Pastor, Thank for you, Steve. having me on here. Another great talk about Always so fun. favorite Such subjects. Great time. And I uh, can't wait till next time. See you then. Thanks.